Hey what's up guys this is Shukesh once again and well today I for you the ultimate review on the Redmi 3s Prime which is by far one of the best devices you can buy under 10,000 rupees in India and there are a couple of reasons to get this device over its competitors like the Lenovo K5 Plus which I have already reviewed. One of the best things on this Redmi device is the theme support. You can download hundreds of themes from the store for free of cost and these themes are extremely beautiful innovative and also don't make your MI UI slow. So I wanted to start this review with these themes. Now in this review I will be covering each and every aspects of this device starting with the display and the fingerprint sensor, the gaming performance, the camera, loudspeaker, the IR blaster, the LED notification light etc. Now the fingerprint sensor you have on this Redmi 3S Prime is not the fastest I have seen but it's faster than that the Redmi Note 3 and if you have seen the speed test in between this Redmi 3S Prime and the Note 3 you already know that. Now the Redmi Note 3 I have here is basically the 16 gig variant with 2 gig of RAM and it's priced at 10,000 rupees that is just 1000 rupees more. So should you really get the 3S Prime or its bigger brother with a 5.5 inches full HD screen. You might already know the 3S Prime sports a 5 inches 720p screen so it's 294 ppi versus 403 ppi. So it's a noticeable difference and Apart from the memory, the Redmi Note 3 is better than that the Redmi 3S Prime in every possible way. Let me show you the benchmark results. Well guys, as you can see the scores on the Note 3 are almost double and though you get a hexa-core processor on the Note 3 against the octa-core processor on the 3S Prime, you have the very premium Snapdragon 650 chipset on the Note 3 compared to the Snapdragon 430 on the 3S Prime. In addition to that, there is premium and high-speed Cortex-A72 processor on the Note 3. So on the speed test, you have seen the Redmi Note 3 beats the 3S Prime in almost all the departments. But in the RAM management, the 3S Prime beats the Note 3 black and blue because it has only 2GB of RAM and the free RAM is always below 1GB whereas you get around 2GB of free RAM on the 3S Prime. So the multitasking capability of the 3S Prime is superb. This phone can handle at least 15 applications simultaneously in the background whereas the Redmi Note 3 sometimes struggles in the RAM management. But that doesn't mean the gaming performance on this device is affected. Now let's come to this Redmi 3S Prime and its gaming performance. Well the CPU and the GPU you have on this device put this in the entry level category. So does that mean this phone will struggle in hardcore gaming? Not really fortunately you have a 720p screen, the GPU has to push this lower resolution and as a result you have seamless gaming experience and in addition to that the phone does not heat up that much during gaming which means battery backup is also considerably better in the gameplay. Thanks to the 3GB RAM, the gaming experience on this Xiaomi Redmi 3S Prime is more than I expected. Now the loudspeaker on this device is decently loud and clear. I will not say it's groundbreaking but it's louder than a lot of smartphones. I should also mention here the back of this phone is not completely metal. This part and also this part is plastic and the middle part is metal. The battery is inbuilt, I will talk more about the battery performance later. As the resolution of the screen is considerably low, my camera is catching some aliasing effect. But don't worry, everything is looking just fine. The graphics is very smooth, there is no lag or hiccup and I really don't see any type of pixelation while playing high graphics games like this. Let me also quickly try the Asphalt 8. Well, I'm playing this game in high graphics mode and I really don't feel any type of issue in playing this Asphalt 8 on this Redmi 3S Prime. So 
Pixel 4 Gaming this Redmi 3S Prime is a great device, especially if you want a small 5 inch screen with better 100 uses, just like flagships, otherwise the Redmi Note 3 is a great device for gaming. Now one thing I should mention here, the display on the Redmi 3S Prime is actually very very bright, it's brighter than that the Note 3 so the sunlight legibility of the 3S Prime is quite good which will help you in outdoor gaming, camera or just normal uses. I don't know whether the camera can catch the difference or not but the display is indeed very very bright. Now one of the big issues with lower resolution displays is the pixelation in small text so let's check that out and the keyboard I am using is the inbuilt Swift key which is very responsive especially in swipe mode. Well I am really finding this small keyboard hard to type with two hands mainly because I am not used to the screen size. This is not an issue at all you can get used to the screen when you have the device as your daily driver. There you go our site gadgets portal dot in. I will try to write a review on this site as soon as possible with some camera samples. You can download those samples and check yourself. Well there is too much aliasing effect here so really sorry about that. The text is slightly pixelated when they are zoomed out which might bother you but the text is still readable and for reading ebooks or browsing the internet you should keep this in mind. But again I am telling you the scenario is not bad at all. My new 4K camera which is basically recording in 6K and downsampling to 4K is getting this aliasing effect. I will try to fix this issue as soon as possible. There is a reading mode on this 3S Prime which is very very handy in the night. This won't strain your eyes that much and will help you get a good sleep. You can assign this reading mode to selected applications only, for example your browser, your ebook reader etc. Well friends, we are almost halfway through the review and I really hope that you are enjoying this very in-depth review of the 3S Prime. If so then please consider liking this video and also subscribing to this channel. Now the LED notification light is actually here and let me show you how can you customize this. Here under the notification light setting you can actually assign different color for different type of notifications. For example for messaging you can set yellow and this is something I personally find extremely useful. Well at the end of this review I will show you few more cool features and tips and tricks on this device so be with me guys. As I mentioned before just like gaming the MI UI is quite snappy and I really don't have any type of complaint. Next topic is the camera. You have a 13 megapixel shooter at the back with full HD recording and a 5 megapixel camera at the front with again full HD recording. I do suggest you to check my dedicated camera review where I have compared the samples with Redmi Note 3 and the link can be found in the description below. What I can tell you the camera is one of the best assets of this Redmi 3S Prime. The images are highly saturated and warm. The videos captured are extremely beautiful, crisp, I will show you the samples later. There you get the camera modes including this manual mode where you can tune up your white balance, exposure, ISO etc. You also have couple of filters. Hey what's up guys this is Shukesh once again and you are watching a video sample from the Redmi 3S Prime. It's recording in Full HD. The focusing is working great. It has phase direction autofocus and yeah, it's quite snappy actually.
and I've tried different angles, different subjects, but every time the Redmi Note 3 captures less saturated or flat images or I should say more accurate colors. But everyone wants vibrant images and if you ask me, I will go for the Redmi 3S Prime. Now one thing you should be aware of, the Redmi Note 3's camera is wider, it's much wider actually. So for indoor shots and rear camera selfies, this wider lens will be very very useful sometimes. Now as far as low light is concerned, I feel that Redmi Note 3 produces slightly better images with more details and better color recording but the Redmi 3S Prime is also not bad at all. Well, you might have already noticed this video is in 4K. So I suggest you to watch this video in full resolution so that you can check the actual difference. One thing very interesting here is the front camera on the 3S Prime is considerably wider. So this will be helpful in group selfies and if you want more background. Hey, what's happening guys? This is Shukesh and you are watching a video comparison in between the all new Redmi 3S Prime and the Redmi Note 3. This is the full HD video comparison and as I mentioned before, the camera on the Redmi 3S Prime captures warm and saturated images which looks quite cool. Now friends, I will be talking about few more features of this Xiaomi Redmi 3S Prime. First of all, there is an air blaster at the top with which you can control your air conditioner, TV, etc. Now I successfully connected my LG Smart TV and it's working just fine but my Samsung air conditioner is not connecting. I should mention here the Laico devices are actually better in this regard. I didn't face any issue with the Laico Li 1S Eco. Now at the bottom you also have a micro USB port, not a USB Type-C and this is OTG enabled that is you can connect your pen drive mouse keyboards and hard drives with external power source. Now the display on this Redmi 3S Prime is 5 inches which is just perfect for 100 uses. The phone is quite compact, lightweight and the grip is also not bad. But still if the screen size is too big for you, you can actually shrink the whole display to your right or left. Just swipe from your home button to back or home to your app switcher and this makes your display smaller 4 inches which is much easier to access. Now on the settings menu, you will find a child mode which is a very very handy tool if you have kids or if you are just lending this phone to your friends for browsing the internet or for camera, you can actually lock your SMS and other applications. Under additional settings, you get the one handed mode I have already shown you. There is also quick ball that is a transparent icon floating on the screen. You get your frequently used options, for example, if you want to go back, you can just swipe down. It's a very interesting and handy tool. Once you get used to this, you will love it. Let me show you a few more nice features and tips and tricks. Under the lock screen and password, you get a very handy option called prevent pocket dials. That is, the screen touch won't work when your phone is in your pocket. Under additional settings, you get the battery settings and regarding the battery backup i am actually very happy the crazy 4100 mAh battery is providing around two full days or normal to heavy uses as i mentioned before i didn't find any kind of battery overheating issue and overall i am quite satisfied with the battery performance there are different tools you can play with for example there is a battery saver and the most interesting one is the battery profiles for example, if you are running out of battery or you are just sleeping, you can actually control the device performance and also the brightness, network preferences, etc. There is also system animations you can turn off. For instance, when you are uninstalling any application, you get very beautiful animation and these animations actually eats up more battery. So guys, if you are looking for a smartphone with longer battery backup, this Redmi 3S Prime might be a great choice. Well, we are almost at the end of this review and my final verdict is for just 9000 rupees this is a killer device. The interface is quite snappy, the display is good, the camera is superb and most importantly the battery is great, there is no overheating issue whatsoever and the look and build of this phone is also quite appreciable. Overall this is one of the best full-fledged Android 6.0 smartphone under 9000 rupees you can buy right now. 
but again if you are okay with a bigger screen then i think for just thousand rupees extra you can get the redmi note 3 16 gig variant i mean there is sd card slot and 2 gig of ram is not bad at all full hd screen is sharper and snapdragon 650 chipset is much much better than that the snapdragon 430 on the redmi 3s prime but again the bigger screen might be too big for some of you guys by the way, a big thanks to Banggood.com for sending me this Redmi Note 3. You can check this site for good deals on smartphones and other gadgets. Well friends, we are at the end of this review. Thanks a lot for watching so far. If you have any questions, you can comment below and let me know. You can also subscribe to this channel if you have loved this video. Thanks again for watching. This is Shukesh and have a nice day.